Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to take a look at a tool called the Solution Components Mover. Uh, this tool exists in the XRM toolbox and it's really very useful. So if you want to combine solutions in your environments, um, this is a great tool to use because you can basically select from multiple solutions and then merge the components of those solutions into a target solution. Um, so, you know, if you think of a scenario where you have a development environment, let's say, and you have multiple developers working in this development environment, and you want to migrate your code from that development environment into a higher environment like a QA environment or something like that um, before it goes all the way into production um, or even if you do want to go straight to production for some reason uh, this tool is useful because you know developers could have different solutions out there um, and you know if they have different solutions you may want to create one release solution uh, which can then be uh, migrated up the environments. So the solution uh, components mover uh, will, will help you do that. So we're going to take a look at how to do that now. So uh, currently I'm signed into make.powerapps.com and what I'm going to do is click on solutions here and uh, we can see that I have a couple of solutions that I've already created. So I have solution A and I have solution B. And what we'll do is we'll basically um, merge this into a solution C um, and using the tool. So let's take a look at solution A firstly. So if I click on solution A, um, so what I have here is I have the uh, account entity that I've added to this solution and I have a web resource that I've created as well. And if I click on the account entity, we can see that I've created a new field in this entity called my new field. Okay, so pretty simple customization that I've made and uh, I've included it into this solution A. So now let's take a look at solution B. So if I click on solution B, um, I've done something pretty similar here. So um, I have a uh, account entity that I've added and I also have a new entity that I created and I've called it new entity. Okay, so there's a brand new entity that I've added to my solution B. And if we click on the account entity, we can see that I've created a new field here as well, uh, different from the solution A field. This one's called my new field two. Okay. So those are my two solutions. Um, so let's jump back to, up to the top here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, add a new solution here and let's call this solution C. And so this will be the target solution. Okay. Um, so I'm going to click create down in the bottom right here and I have this solution C created. If I click on solution C, there's nothing in there at the moment, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is jump over to the uh, XRM toolbox and let's take a look at how we can use that. So here we are in the XRM toolbox and uh, you can see that I have some tools already loaded here. And if I scroll down, this is the one that we'll be talking about, the solution components mover. So if you don't see this in your um, list here, you can go up to configuration and then tool library and then search for the uh, solution components mover and add it that way. So let's go ahead and click into it. And we can see that uh, there's nothing loaded yet from our solutions. Um, so you'll want to go here and click on load solutions. And this is of course after you've connected to your organization. So um, what we can see here on the left is um, the solutions that are in this environment. And if I scroll down, what we can see here is we have these uh, three solutions appearing here that we just spoke about. So we have solution A, B, and C. And then over here on the right, um, these are the target solutions on the right, okay? So source, source solutions on the left, target solutions on the right. And we can see A, B, and C here as well. So um, what we wanna do is we'll wanna select solutions A and B uh, as the source and then solution C as the target, right? So, um, you know, just, just uh, hold control if you want to select multiple on the left um, and then, you know, select the target solution, solution C on the right. 
And then the next thing we'll want to do is click copy components, all right? So when we click on this, um, we can see that uh, the tool's actually providing us with a whole list here of various components that we can select if we didn't want to select um, to move everything across from these solutions, okay? So for example, if you only wanted to move web resources from your source solution to your target solution, then this is the way you would do it. You would unselect everything here by clearing all and then only select uh, the web resource like that. Um, so what we will do is we'll select all because we want to copy everything across and we're going to click OK here. And on clicking OK, that's when this tool runs and it does this merging of the solutions, okay? So we can see here in the logs in the bottom, it's actually told us um, which solution components have been moved into solution C. Um, you know, so if we wanted to get some more details on what was actually moved, we could see that here. So let's hop back over to uh, our solution C and take a look at what we, uh, what we now have in the solution. Great, and what we can see here is we have our uh, account entity that came across um, that was uh, included in both solution A and B. We have the uh, new entity that was included in solution B. We have the web resource that was included in solution A. And then if we wanted to see what was brought across within the account entity, if you recall, we created these two new fields. So let's see if they come, came across as well. And here we are. So we have these two fields as well. So that's how to use it. A pretty useful tool. And uh, hopefully this will be uh, useful to you when you're uh, deploying up to different environments. Thank you. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com.